everyone how are you today hopefully you're having a great week and today is Friday that means I'm getting ready to cook <laughs> okay so today I'm making spinach tacos now most spinach tacos are good but you haven't tasted mine yet right <laughs> okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna make spinach tacos and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And here is what you're gonna need. Cooking oil, and you're gonna need some blue cheese dressing, along with jalapeno peppers, and some garlic. You can't go without garlic. It helps you with your blood pressure if you have any blood pressure problems. Check with your doctor, he might not want you on garlic, so never know so anyway uh, also turkey bacon Here's some of that. I've already cooked some turkey bacon already and this has been cooked cri to crisp you want to cook the bacon in the skillet for three to five minutes however long you want to do that because some people like soft real soft bacon some people like um, crispy bacon so I like crispy and or either uh, kind of soft but kind of hard it doesn't matter but <laughs> but it, it might matter to you okay so cook it however long you want now as far as the jalapenos they're good but they're hot and what you want to do is you want to cut them up uh, I've already diced them right here I don't know if you can see that but you want to cut them up like this and you also want to boil some spinach I have some spinach here um, drain the juice off of the spinach now you're gonna need at least four cans of spinach I'm making like 12 of these uh, here are the tortillas that I'm using as well. These are white corn tortillas. They seem to work a little better, but you can use corn, to, I mean, uh, yellow corn tortillas as well. Either way, you want to do that. But what you want to do is you want to take the, the garlic, which I've already put garlic on here, and you want to. trying to get my focus right here you want to put the garlic all over the tortilla okay and next what you want to do is take the jalapeno peppers and put them on and then you want to put some of the spinach which is right here taking some of the spinach and you want to kind of drain it a little bit and then put a little bit there you see that spinach is on there now and next what you want to do is put some of the blue cheese dressing just a Did you see that that's what you want to put on there just a little bit or you can put a little bit more it depends on what you want to do it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you put some on there okay then you want to take the two pieces of bacon and put them on now notice over here I am showing the seeds that's inside of there you want to take those out okay and continue to put jalapeno peppers on top of the there and then next what you do since you got everything in there you just want to fold it fold the tortilla now these tortillas you want to cook them in oil okay make sure you cook the tortillas in oil for three minutes until it gets soft and they should move when you take them out okay you should be able to move should be moving like that 
If they don't move like that and they're crisped up, you got to stir all over and find somebody to eat it because you know why? Nobody likes a hard tortilla. Some people do. Now I'll take that back. But most of the time, people want soft tortillas. Okay. Okay. And the finished result should be like this. Okay. So there, now you have a finished product, and I'm going to taste it. Mm. It's good. You can taste the spinach in there, and I like the way the spinach and the bacon is coming straight through. Now you can put more... I'll put your peppers if you want to inside of there. I'll just put a few. But it's good. Mm -hmm. Real good. You can serve it with rice. You can put it with a salad. Talk to you again soon. Bye.